In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how you can edit bracketed photos using a special tool called Bracket HDR. Now, if you're not familiar with bracketed photos, let me give you a short introduction. It's very simple. To take bracketed photos, you basically shoot the same shot at the same time, only you vary the exposure. You underexpose a little, do it normally, and then overexpose a little. Now, why would you do that? The goal is to get the best of all of the photographs combined, and you do that with a post-production tool like Bracket HDR. I have three photos here. Let's click on the Metadata tab and see what we can discover here. You notice we're looking at the shutter. In the middle one, we have one under 2500. If we look at the other one, it's 1 and 4000. And then the overexposed one is 1 and 1250. Each has advantages and disadvantages because it handles the sky different, the background, the foreground, the highlights, etc. And so often cameras will be set up to do this. Most often photographers use a tripod and then they'll set something called auto exposure bracketing on their SLR cameras. That will allow you to pick the range between the norm and up and down to shoot three or more shots with your camera so that you can then in post-production make the best of each of them. Let's see what it looks like and how we can do that. We'll go back to our project tab. Now what I want to do is take that. I'm going to click on the guided button to get to our tool. It will create a copy for me. And then I want to go to the photo merge subcategory on the left. And then I'll choose bracket HDR. And now I can use up to five photos at the same time. I'll take the three I have here and drag and drop them. And you see the difference between the three. Let's click the merge and watch the tool work. When it's finished, it will take a composite. And this is what it looks like. At this point in time, you can take all the tools here and make modifications on the composite. And you can change the strength of the glow, the edge, the radius, the detail, luminosity, the tone. You can turn the exposure up or down. Make any kind of variations you'd like to. Modify the contrast, the vibrance. So it's up to you what you want to do. If you don't like your changes, you click on clear and it will start all over again. Let's assume I'm happy with the way the image looks right now. All I need to do is click on save as in the lower right corner and I need to give it a name. I'll call this composite number 10 and press enter and it will save the file. It will not again be destructive editing on the other three that I have, but we'll save it as an additional file. I will get a message that it will import it into my library. I'm going to click OK and then we'll go back to our library. And now if I look at the four photos I have, my composite is labeled number one in the upper left corner. Then I have the other three that were part of my original camera shots. That's as easy as it is to edit a bracketed set of photos in PhotoDirector 365. 